we're at an early stage in the journey yet. We're trying to identify the factors that are happening before pileups and smothering. But once we identify those risk factors, we can then program it into the software so that the farmer gets an alert and knows what to do. Or even better, the program itself can actually start the initiation to prevent them. For example, start the feeders or turn the misters on. The aim of the project was specifically to look at what are the factors that contribute to bird pileups and smothering. And that's why we use this shed who had a couple of experiences in the past. So we can do the bird detection, bird tracking in the shed, and also the bird segmentation, image based. So the aim is to do lots of uh, bird behavior analysis. The ability of the, of the vision system to identify an individual bird and then to track its direction and rate of movement and then leading into density estimates and finally into, a, into an algorithm that can say, I think this bird is, is eating, this bird is drinking, this bird is nesting, etc. We now have all the tools to look for what are the factors that are contributing to pileups and smothering. The benefit of this technology is will help the farm to quickly identify where the pair up and where the high density will create a negative impact to their uh, bird production. It's important because what we are looking for are the factors that are leading up to these events. Because if we have the factors that are leading up to the events, we can take actions to stop them from happening. And to do that requires 24-7 monitoring and identifying the risk factors and therefore a video-based system that is automated with an SMS-based system to the farmer is the ideal way to do that. Okay, from technology point of view, we first needed to do the bird detection in the image or the video. So this all the bounding box reflect uh, each bird has been uh, detected. When we do this uh, detection, then we move to the next panel. That is, uh, you can see the, all the birds will be tracked. Each individual bird will be tracked one by one. And you can see the number that is marked for each bird. We roughly understand the how many birds and what they are moving in this scene. So the segmentation means we can do the each uh, individual analysis about the bird's behavior. For example, they, if, if they, they are feeding or drinking or even do other things. This is very important for the, for the welfare analysis and also for the production. So this panel actually is uh, more used as a model, AR model, to the dense counting. The dense counting means uh, we want to understand that in this very small area whether the bird is pure up. Uh, if they pair up, then this is the biggest signal whether they will eventually become a smart thing. So what we are trying to do is give farmers a management tool that they can monitor their flock. We saw back at the laboratory that the, the technology is developed to the point where it can recognise individual birds. It can also track their direction of movement and their velocity. Combined, we can look at the density of those birds. And finally, on that last screen, we saw that it was able to recognise individual bird behaviours. With a camera-based system, you can monitor all the birds in this flock that are in the frame of vision for all those aspects and they will relate to the welfare status of the bird and over time we'll start to learn the patterns of, of factors, management, environment, etc. that contribute to the bird's welfare state and their production. What we want to know now at the next stage is what are the patterns of, of these coordinated behaviours in the flock? What percentage of the birds are nesting? What percentage of the birds are grooming? You know, what percentage of the birds are hanging around the watering points? And therefore, those patterns may tell us something that we can use to help management. Optimal times for feeding, for example. What are the factors that are likely to positively influence welfare? And even what are the, what are the best ways to manage the internal environment? There may be energy savings, etc., to do that. We don't know these flock coordinated behaviours yet and that's the next stage, but using the base technology from this study to go to that level, which is to say, what is the flock doing in the shed? That's the next point in the journey.
So what we're looking for for the farmers is not for them to have to sit and watch the video 24-7. We're, we're envisaging a system whereby the, the computer will work out what are the risk factors, say, for density levels getting up to the point we may have a pile-up, and that will then send a, an SMS warning to the farmer who's doing other things to say, there could be something happening in Shed 2, come and have a look down the back. But the objective of all this work is to solve a real problem of farmers. Take the technology and apply it to solve the problem, and that's what we hope to be doing here. Thank you.